Hello Internet! You guys seem to like the last video I did on the winner of the Samsung Smart App Challenge, so in this video I'm going to go over the other nine winners. So I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. First, we're going to take a look at the three second place winners, and more specifically, Party Party. The judges found this game to be cute and visually rich in regards to environment. And as you can see here, there are numerous different characters you can design. Here I am now doctoring the color of my character, and you can swipe through all sorts of different colors, and you can also swipe through multiple different bodies. Connecting two devices so that people can play Party Party together is almost effortless. You just click on Party Party, and you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, and it just works. The only real complaints this game got from judges anyway was that it just needed more events, which as we all know can be easily added to any application. As you can see here, we have a little sprinting game. And with a little click, we can get our little game master here to have us also perform a little jumping type of game. And then we can go over and ask our game master for a new game, and before you know it, we are jumping over logs, which come from numerous different locations. Just like the judges said, it's a perfect game. It just needs a couple more events. And that brings us to another second place winner being Shared Lens, and all the judges agreed it was a tight, clean utility app that worked seamless on our devices. To get it to work, all you need to do is open it up and just click on Tap to Share. We then give our device a name and click on Share Now, and then on a nearby device, it will automatically show up. We just have to pull out the little drawer. And just that easily, we're able to click and see exactly everything that the device's camera is pointing at. The device that has the shared camera is going to be able to focus as well as take photos. And of course, on our other device that is sharing that camera, we will also be able to take pictures. As well, the device that is sharing the other device's camera is also going to be able to determine if it flashes use and also the resolution of the picture. And that brings us to the final of the three second place winners being Clouds and Sheep. Now the judges said that the visual design of Clouds and Sheep is undeniably irresistible and as you can see, that's pretty much what it is. Clouds and Sheep has tons of game mechanics, which are introduced to you through these little signs you see right here. As you can see, the first one says, throw a sheep. And then the next one says, grab a sheep by the tail and force it to do a barrel roll. But as you play the game, not only will you interact with the sheep and collect stars, which is pretty much the object of the game, you'll also interact with the environment to create rain clouds. And with those rain clouds, you'll be able to tap on them to create puddles for your sheep to drink from, and then later on also grow grass, grow flowers, and a whole bunch of other different things. There's also the opportunity to mate two sheep, and basically what you need to do is get yourself some flower seeds and just click on those and plant them around on your field. Then you just need to get two sheep together that have eaten flowers, and whenever you do, our two little sheep get together and gaze longingly into each other's eyes and then a heart appears. Now all you need to do is get yourself a cloud, push it over towards the heart, and boom, you have yourself a baby sheep. There's also another option that allows you to take photographs of your sheep. It then allows you to add a custom message to your picture and then send it to your friends in numerous different ways. And on top of that, you can also, if you activate the gift option, send real sheep directly from your game over to your friends. Clouds and Sheep is already a big hit on the Play Store, and it's free, so by all means, go check it out. Then we have Tennis Academy. First, you have Lessons, which is basically a tutorial system. Then you have Tournaments with AI, and then you have Challenges, which let's go and take a look at the two of those. The first one basically teaches you how to play the game itself. Basically what you're trying to do here is just hit the tennis ball into the little circles on the screen, and then there's another one where you hit tennis balls at aliens. What really shines about Tennis Academy though is the multiplayer. Basically, you just get two devices, click on multiplayer, the other one clicks on multiplayer, then you're going to pick whatever character you want to use, and then you are done. Both devices are connected and you can start playing. Tennis Academy is really a fun game, and whenever it's available on the Play Store, you should definitely check it out. Then we have another great utility app in which the judges said the promise of a translation app such as this is immediately apparent, and it most definitely is. To start a conversation between two people, you just enter in your chosen language, your name, and the name of your group, and hit enter. Then somebody nearby picks up their device, clicks on Group Wing, and then they'll get the option to enter a new name as well as pick from many different other options language-wise. And here I'm going to pick French, and then I'm just going to type in the group name again. 
basically to connect two devices all you need to do is share a group name and then it's going to be extremely easy to translate here I'm just going to say hello and that's going to be sent over to the other device automatically translated into bonjour and here I can say how are you doing today and again it's going to automatically translate it into French and send it to the other device it just works it's pretty cool we have Zero Note, which is called a real-time collaborative writing application that allows several users to write on the same document at the same time, and that is exactly what it is. You're going to be able to communicate through just basic text as well as you're also going to be able to use your camera to take photographs and also access each other's galleries. After you have your notes set up, all you got to do is click on information. It's going to give you a share code and a password, which you can define, and then you can just give that to whoever you want to share the document with. They can click on share note, enter the code and the password, and they're in. Now the neat thing about this app is anytime either device changes anything in the note, both devices are going to be updated, and it's pretty neat. Then we have Smart Audience, which is a kind of a similar app, except in this situation, it's going to aid in allowing audience participation with a speaker. Again, you just type in the name and you hit host session. Then the audience members are going to be able to answer pre-made surveys, questionnaires, and a whole host of other different things. And then as well, you're also going to be able to store these surveys, which is going to provide easy access. Basically what Smart Audience does is it allows the audience to, in some way or another interact with the speaker to make the speech more interesting. And as a person that gives speeches quite often, I could definitely see this being pretty cool. I know if I would whip this out and basically present this to audience members to participate while I was giving a speech, I would definitely have a lot of fun with it. Now, of course, I'm just using silly little things like where should we eat out, but you could basically have the audience members answer any number of questions or ask any number of questions. Here, this device is basically acting as an audience member. And as you saw, it was pretty easy for that audience member to just jump right in. And they could answer the survey questions like we have right here. But another thing that's also pretty cool is we could also provide a way for them to ask questions. Here again, I'm acting as an audience member and I can just click on questions. I can type in pretty much anything. Here, this person is obviously obsessed with when they're going to eat. We can push that right there, hit OK. And then over on the speaker's device, I can then check those questions. Then we have a really creative app called Buddy Film. Basically, one device is going to act as a director, and then numerous other devices can act as cameramen. Basically, you just give a nickname, and then somebody else or multiple other devices click in, give themselves a nickname as cameramen. Here I only have one cameraman being Pat, but you can see I clicked on that, and then over in the director, immediately I can see exactly what's going on with their camera. And as you can see, I can also host multiple different cameramen. Now what's interesting is the director basically is going to be controlling what is being recorded. Here I'm just recording my Minecraft Lego set, but you can record something a lot more useful. And you can see right here, I'm going to click start recording and it's going to start recording. Basically the cameraman has control of what a cameraman would, which is whatever is being filmed, but the director controls everything else. Then of course we can upload the video back over to the director and then we can provide a certain level of editing to all of these different videos, which is really kind of neat. And then we have iGladiator, which is a really interesting 3D hack and slash type of gladiator game here. You can see there's story mode and there's multiple multiplayer options available just like most of these apps you can play between friends with nearby devices. As the game progresses you'll be able to upgrade your weapons as well as your basic skill set as you can see right here. Each level is going to have certain challenges to meet to upgrade your overall skills and basically then you're just going to enter the arena and hack and slash at your enemies. And it's been a lot of fun going over all the winners or the top 10 winners in the Samsung Smart App Challenge for 2013. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It was kind of fun for me to do. And of course, I have a link in the description underneath the video so you can go and check out these apps on your own. Please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.